What's up guys, I'm Hype, and I'm here to jump into the video real quick to ask for a huge favor. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers before 2022, and I need your help by subscribing to the channel right now. When I look back at my analytics, it looks like everybody who watches the channel is not subscribed. Actually, there's over 84% of you guys who aren't subscribed to the channel, but watch it all the time. So please do me a huge favor and subscribe to the channel and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers before the year of 2022. Thanks, now back to the episode. My name is Tommy Roldan, um, committed, I'm a class of 2023, uh, left-handed pitcher outfield, committed to University of Virginia, and I go to Georgetown Prep High School right now. And this is what's in my baseball bag. So first, this is my, my Gamer Wood bat. Uh, it's a D24 Chandler. Um, it's pretty pine tarred up, but you know, I picked the colorway that I like because it makes the barrel look nice and fat. It's like the way that looks. Uh, I got no cup on the end because I like the uh, end. I sort of like the feel the barrel and the weight. Um, 33 and a half is the length. I think it's just 34 is a little bit long for me, and 33 is a little bit too short, so 33 and a half is perfect. Um, drop two and a half, so 31 ounces. It's like the way. I think I could go 30, 30, 30 and a half, but 31, a little bit, feels a bit more weighted in my hands, I guess. And then, I already said no cups, keep it a little bit end loaded. Uh, it's the backup just in case that one breaks. Same weight, same, same cupping, same everything. So there's that. Chandler. And this is my metal bat for high school ball. I got the Victus Knox. 33 and a half as well. Took the grip off, put some, put some tape on it, like the, the way the skinny handle feels. Of course, you got the pine tar on there. Uh, yeah, that's that. Then in my bag, first thing we got is got the helmet, Evo shield. Uh, this is just the one that Canes gives us to play. So yeah, there's that. Um, next we got got some J bands. Got to keep my got to keep the arm healthy. So I do this before I throw every time and after I throw. Do this every day. Keeps so our nice and healthy. Uh, next we got Evo Shield Elbow Guard. Had this one for a while. It's pretty beat up, but you know nothing like it. Get get a little bit uh, a little dirty. You know, get some personality to it. Yeah, just normal Evo Shield Elbow Guard. Next we got the Rollings Batting Gloves. These are actually like a day old. I just bought these because my Franklin's sort of got a little bit crunchy on me. But yeah, these are nice. First time using them. Uh, I've always liked Rollins batting gloves, like the way that the palm feels. I can't do the thick leather palm because I guess get blisters like crazy. So I got always got to go with lighter batting gloves and a little bit of a thick strap. And plus Rollins is uh, University of Virginia, so I'm trying to get used to that before I before I get there. So I don't want to show up and get a ton of blisters. Uh, I got the backup pair of batting gloves. Got the Franklins just in case anything happens in those. So these are actually my old ones, but backup pair just in case anything happens. Oh, got liquid chalk, so I gotta shout out my boy Kevin McGonagall, he put me on this. Uh, I just use it to dry my hands a little bit because my hands get sweaty in the batting gloves, but it keeps them nice and dry. I definitely recommend this for anybody who's got like sweaty hands. Uh, next we got my pitching glove, so this is a Rollings Pro Preferred. Uh, a little bit beat up, had this for a long time, probably like three years. Got it at Lake Point when back when there was like a nice rolling stand there. Got like sort of gold back and it's a little bit peeled off. Got this webbing. I think this is my favorite webbing. It's pretty sick. Uh, 11 and three quarters inches. That's a pitching glove.
And then we got a uh, outfield glove. So this is what I'm using, right field. Part of the hide, got the mesh on the back. This one's not as old as the pitching glove, but still pretty old. I've had this for a while. I like having nice things, but I also like keeping them around for a long time. So big deal, just keep these things around and keep them nice. I like keep taking care of my stuff. So then we got uh, first baseman's mitt. This is, you know, gotta be versatile, so. Got the first base of it just in case anything happens, you know, any way to get on the field. Also, a heart of the hide. I think this one is, uh, I'm not sure, I think it's like uh, 12 and a quarter inches. Uh, heart of the hide. Yep. First baseman's mitt. There's that. And I got the got the sliding guard. Uh, Benick, you know, I don't see a lot of people, kids going with the Evo Shield ones, but uh, Benick's the OG. I don't know if anybody knows that, but. A, long, a little bit, maybe two two years ago, this uh, this is what everybody's using. I don't know, they still a lot of big league guys using, but you know, I got to go with the big league gear. So there's that. Uh, what else we got in here? Okay, this is probably the last thing. We got the bio freeze. It's essential for pitchers. You know, Tiger Bomb, same thing. Get that on the elbow, get that on the shoulder, anywhere you feel any pain. Put that on the lower back sometimes. But yeah, it keeps me keeps me nice and healthy. And uh, lastly, I'll show these off a little bit. Got the uh, Oakley Sutros. I used to have 100%. Got them. They got a little beat up though. Now I go with the Oakleys. Recommend both, but these are these are pretty cool. I like the. I always got to go with the big lenses. Got to stay. Got to stay with what's going on right now. So, yeah. There's those. And uh, yep. That's what's in my bag. Thank you for watching.